Can you believe that I forgot to do an intro for this video? Absolutely tragic. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. I am Jack JC. If you have been a long time subscriber and if not, welcome. You good? All right. Okay, so AliExpress is having a Black Friday sale from November 23rd to November 29th. Thousands of wig selections are up there for 50% off. So you can click the link in my description box and bio to get this wig and use the code SW30 to get this wig for only $71.77. So this wig is from AliExpress SVT. It is an affordable deep wave 13 by 4 lace closure, 28 inches, more codes in my caption. Hurry up and get it before it runs out. And if you want to find more wigs of good quality and of good price, open up your AliExpress app and search SW30 to find more influencer picks. So it comes in this really nice satin bag. Of course, you're going to get your wig cap per usual and then some eyelashes. And then, of course, we have the wig. So, of course, it's nicely secure. And I know that the wig and the unit was supposed to be, in some respects, pre-plucked. I'm going to have all the information and the wig link down below. But I was very, very impressed looking at the hairline, how thin and natural it already was. So that made me feel, especially for beginners, that this was going to be one that could, you know, it could give me a little something, something without me having to do too much to get it that way. So you can see inside, though, that it has a rubber elastic band there. And that elastic band, unlike other wigs that I've dealt with, is actually sewn in. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't, I've never experienced this before, so we'll see. And then you can see the lace, how much lace space that there is. Really, really nice. The hair was very, very soft. I was very surprised at how soft it wasn't already defined that it is. So I feel like this is going to be a good wig to install. I like to use some sort of concealer or some sort of foundation to darken the lace. It always it needs a bit of matching and I think that's how you get the best look, especially if you're not that good. Matching the color is definitely a good start. So always going with that. I use my foundation to do that and then I move on with putting this wig on. Now, again, for me, my head, my hair, there's a lot going on there. So having that elastic band in the back really is helpful when I put the wig on because it will secure it down in the back. Even if there's a bit of my hair sticking out or the wig cap, you won't be able to really see it because the hairstyles that I do usually are a bit longer. So put on that wig that way. And once it's secure, then it is about getting the glue down. So I use got to be glue. I find that it is just enough for me, especially especially because I don't wear these wigs long term. Now, if you are, obviously a more stronger bond or hold is best for you. I have a lower hairline, so I actually do like using got to be glue to do this because I like I tend to put the got to be glue or the bonding agent on my actual hairline. Now, I do not recommend this if you are using something that's very strong hold. Again, I'm using got to be glue, so it comes off relatively easily and my edges are intact. So I like to put it on my hairline, especially with this wig, it is a darker wig, so it's just going to blend a bit more, um, a bit better with darker hairline, darker edges, which I naturally have. So I like to go ahead and put that down and then I simply lay the wig on top of that and use my comb kind of to press it in. I also like to try and get behind the flaps of the ears too because I, I want it to be stuck down, the tabs to be stuck down in the corner. This wig is a tight fit so getting it and placing it in the right spot is important. I love the way that hairline is pre-plucked. This wig doesn't come with a part so I'm going to have to figure out what type of part that I'm going to do. But anyway, so I stick that down and once I have it as secure as possible and I pushed it in with my comb, I then like to put on a headscarf just to let that sink in a bit more. Now, while you have your headscarf on, you could then decide what kind of parting that you want to do. Playing around here with a side part, which I never do, but I'm like, perhaps I may want to do a side part. Who knows? It depends on how the lace comes out looking. And once that's done, you can simply take off the headscarf and now it's all about cutting that lace. So for me, I like to cut it as jagged as possible. I don't have the super thin scissors. Very beginner. You can see my scissors are very chunky. So for me, I have to get as close as possible to the mirror to cut it off. And then I will come back and show how it ends up looking. So getting into the baby hairs, I actually did decide to do a side part. 
so I <laughs> am really throwing it out there but the good thing about a side part I say would say is that you really don't have to get nail the baby hairs on one side this is what I would imagine so I'm in the process of doing this so I still decided to create some sort of baby hair situation on both sides so after peeling off the lace and cutting everything off it looks good to me actually really way better than i expected it to look so i'm very happy with the way this wig was pre-plugged one of the better wigs that i've ever received in terms of hairline looking great hairline shape being somewhat natural um compared to mine which i have a slight widow's peak so i actually really really do like the construction of this wig and the front of it but i'm still going to add some baby hairs because i just find that that helps hide the lace a lot better so what i like to do after i cut off the lace is to then separate two chunks usually of baby hairs and you could see me doing it on both sides and then from here i do melt a little bit more using the got to be glue spray and spraying that on and separating the baby hairs and tying that down once i'm finished with that i then go back in for the baby hairs and for me i like to curl them a bit so it's, it depends how i try and do it different ways each time sometimes i like to curl it first and then cut it sometimes I cut it and then curl it and then from there it is a very very much so a free-for-all child I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> except using sometimes got to be glue the brush kind of toothbrush thing that you get from the beauty supply store some edge control whichever edge control that you have I use the Murray's edge control and I am just swooping 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 trying to get it to lay now for me I have found especially for someone that is a beginner curling the baby hairs have been such a tool for me because it gets them all going in a similar direction and that does actually help lay them now before when I would try and freehand it it was definitely terrible the edges will come out very stringy but now with curling it a lot a lot a lot better it's not perfect you know i'm not a aficionado i'm not an aficionado but it's definitely a lot better than it was so that is a tip that i would add for beginners that i have found really does help with that once you have the baby hair situated you could really work on the part you can use water you can use got to be glue spray to set it in place you could use some mousse to get the curls back going or to get them wet but as you can see the wig has curl it has body it's nice in and of itself and I don't know if I want to get it more fluffy or not just got myself together while I let the edges set so let's take this off and see what it looks like wow okay <laughs> they are definitely very stiff I would say but not bad especially for someone that didn't pluck um, I like how they are actually set here so they're definitely stiff these ones are actually really good these came out pretty good i would say kind of floating here but i would say also that the hairline just works it just looks very natural so not terrible i would say especially for someone that's not so great i went in with my concealer color so this is um fawn concealer and i used that to go here um so now i'm trying to figure out how to style it because this is super super long and i actually am <laughs> wearing this hair out which is why i was also fine with doing all this makeup uh because the wig is so pre-plucked it's so already a lot of work is already done for you i just found it to be um a lot more simple and easy so because it, the curls are very very defined like these curls are beautimos beautimos however I just need a bit more volume in my life and I know that you can easily get the hair back to the state it was in by just having some water and stuff in it so I don't want to make it too fluffy because it is so long for it to be fluffy and long I feel like it would just be a lot but this is it how did I do <laughs> how did I do okay I think it was it's pretty good especially for a beginner so all beginners this is a beginner friendly wig. I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so much for the people that sponsored this video. Again, everything is going to be linked down below. This wig is highly affordable and I do recommend it. Minimal shedding, very lovely on the touch. Don't even have to do much with the styling because you guys see what the curls are given. The density is there. So I actually really do like this hair. And yeah, I'm 
gonna leave it there thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in my next one bye guys Mwah.